Greetings to all. Before beginning with the session, please make a note of rules and instructions which are to be followed throughout the webinar. You can switch on your videos but kindly keep yourself on mute at all the times. Please try to log in through your laptop so as to get a better visual experience. The forum will be open for questions and answers later. So kindly post your queries in the chat box only. A very good afternoon one and all present here. I, Prinsika, on behalf of Institutions Innovation Council from Shahid Raj Guru College of Applied Science for Women, University of Delhi would like to extend our profound and earnest welcome to Mr. Surojit Mahato, the speaker for today's webinar. We would also like to extend a wholehearted welcome to our esteemed principal ma'am, Dr. Payal Magu, the convener of IIC, Dr. Ranjana Singh ma'am. We would like to extend our sincere and heartfelt welcome to all the knowledgeable teachers and to all the throughout thoughtful and attentive audience present here. We are truly humbled beyond measures for such an overwhelming response. If you are on social media and you are not learning, not laughing, not being inspired or not networking, then you are using it wrong. Rightly said by Germany Ken, so to, you ha to help you learn, laugh, inspire and network through one of the most learning employment oriented services LinkedIn IIC of Shahid Rajguru College has brought you an interesting and informative session on how to kick start your career through LinkedIn with Mr. Surojit Mahato as our honorable guest speaker. We are glad to have you sir as our speaker for today's session. Sir is marketing professional with 8 plus years of work experience in digital marketing. He is published author in 27 plus business case studies. He is an active blogger and trainer. We would now like to welcome Mr. Surojit Mahato sir who will enlighten us about problem solving and the basic of ideation and how to kick start our startup with LinkedIn. Welcome, sir. Hi. Hi, Prinsika. Thank you so much for the kind introduction. Uh, hi, everyone. Very good afternoon to all of you. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, I'll try to make the most so that, uh, you know, uh, I can share and you guys can, you know, in the next 30, 45 minutes, uh, learn a few things about LinkedIn. Uh, hopefully, it will be helpful for you uh, if you're planning to you know, uh, search for job, grow your network, start a business, understand social media. In all of these things, uh, you know, uh, I'll try to help you get started uh, with sharing my knowledge on LinkedIn. So, uh, you know, uh, I have a PPT with me. I'll share my screen. Give me one moment. So everyone can see my screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, great. Okay. So I'll, I'll briefly take you through my journey on LinkedIn and try to explain you how I have built this audience and started my business online on uh, majorly on LinkedIn only. So I, I, you know, I started, I had an account on LinkedIn for a long time. Uh, let's say around, uh, before 2014 only I had created the account, but it was not until, you know, 2018, that time that uh, I started exploring this platform more. So a brief about me, you know, I, I grew up in Dhanbad. This is a small town in 
Jharkhand. Okay, and then uh, I moved to Agra. Uh, Agra is uh, near to Delhi, must be knowing. So I, I did my engineering there. I then I moved to Mumbai. I did my MBA there. I then I worked in Hyderabad for seven years. Uh, I was working with multiple companies. Uh, you know, uh, spread over seven years. Uh, I have also worked as a consultant, as a freelancer. So a uh, lot of my journey, you know, professional journey uh, started out and my experience is based out on Hyderabad. Uh, after that, the COVID happened and pandemic hit and then I moved to my hometown. Uh, and right now I'm in Kolkata. So everything, I'm working from home full time right now. So a uh, little bit about, you know, uh, what I will take you through, uh, in the next 90 or 60 minutes, whatever, or 45 minutes, as quickly as possible, I will try to cover all these things. So I'll take you through, you know, how to uh, create a profile, what kind of profile you should have, uh, how how you can grow your network, how to build your personal brand, uh, more importantly, why you should build your personal brand, and uh, how to find your job or internship or opportunities. Basically, that is what everybody wants to know on LinkedIn. Okay. So as I was telling you in the beginning, I started my journey on LinkedIn somewhere around 2018. So that is the time when I started taking this platform more seriously. I was looking at other creators. They were continuously creating content, you know, and uh, they're talking about how they are finding opportunities. So I started following them very seriously. And uh, actually, I wanted to switch my career from one stream to another. So. What I did was I was reaching out to a lot of people, sending them connection requests, a template message, asking questions. So when I reached out to 50, 100 people, you know, a couple of people responded and that helped a lot. So that is when I realized, you know, this is one platform. Where else can you reach out to the CEO or the HR manager of a company and ask some questions or somebody at a senior level and send a direct message and you can expect a reply. There is no other possible way. Like if you know somebody, from your friends or network. So that is a different issue, but how many people can you know that way? Right? So this is a wonderful platform, uh, you know, where you have all the professionals in one place with one clear mind. So you go to Instagram with a different set of mind, right? You go to Instagram to, uh, you know, watch photos, uh, funny videos, memes. And so there is a different approach there. When you open Facebook, you have a different mindset. When you open a LinkedIn, you have a different mindset. So every platform, you know, has its own essence, right? So LinkedIn is more about professionals talking about, you know, uh, learning from each other, from their experience, sharing stories related to professional life. And, you know, a lot of creators share very serious content stuff, right? So uh, I found LinkedIn, you know, very interesting, uh, you know, aligning with uh, the way I think and I, I could relate myself more here. So what I did was I started, you know, exploring this platform more. I, I connected with more people every day. I used to send out connection requests and gradually it grew from, uh, you know, five, 500,000 followers connections to 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 that when today it has reached, uh, more than 50,000. And this is all in the span of two years. Right. So, and once, once I hit around, uh, 10,000, that level, uh, people started approaching me for work. So I got a lot of freelance consulting opportunities on LinkedIn and it was, I wasn't chasing anyone. People were chasing me. People uh, started approaching me. Okay. So, uh, and, and all of this happened because of uh, my personal brand on LinkedIn. Uh, I was sharing content. I, was, I, I had a very clear profile about what I do, how I do it, uh, previous experiences, all of that. Okay. So I'll, I'll take you through all of that step by step so that you can also replicate the same process. And, uh, and give me one moment. So, so to start with anything, you know, you need a goal. So let's say you are, you start a page on Instagram, you'll have a goal in mind that someday I want to monetize it, right? Same way on LinkedIn, you, know, uh, you should have a goal. What do you want to do by uh, putting out content or creating a profile? You want to connect with more people, similar people know about what is going on in the industry or find out opportunities, you know, uh, so there's a saying that your net network is your net asset is your, is your net worth right so that is because at any time in future you want to uh, switch you want to start something so you need people you want to connect with very influential and relevant people who can help you do that so 
at that time, if you start building a network, it is going to be too late. So now there's a saying that uh, if you are, if you want to write a book, don't start writing a book. First, build an audience on any social media platform. So if you have built 5,000 followers, 10,000 followers. So if you have 10,000 followers, six months down the line, when you publish your book, 50 people will probably buy your book. But uh, when you publish your book and that time, if you start building an audience, it is not going to happen that same way, right? So uh, this is how, you know, people usually approach LinkedIn and think about LinkedIn uh, to find opportunities. They apply, you can directly apply on LinkedIn for jobs. There is a jobs tab and you can find, uh, use keywords and you can find the jobs that are, uh, the companies post the vacancies that are there and you can directly apply. You can upload your CV and you can directly apply, right? So this is one way. Uh, it works, but there is tough competition, right? Just like job portals, everybody is doing it. And uh, like you don't get a chance to stand out, right? And the success ratio is very, very less. Same way, you can send a message to a recruiter, CEO, potential recruiter, and hope they will respond and uh, something will happen. Same way, you can connect with seniors or, you know, last thing people do is they write a post that I'm looking for a job, please help. A desperate attempt. So all of this doesn't work most of the times. It I'm not saying it completely never works, but majority of the times it's very difficult to get success this way. Why? Because let's say you apply for a job or you send a message to a recruiter saying uh, this is what you're looking at and blah, blah, blah. So what happens is they come back to your profile. Who are you? Where are you from? Right. And then they see that nothing is there on your profile. Doesn't no story is there, no profile, good photo is there, no cover picture is there, no about section, no recommendation. That doesn't, uh, they don't, they are not able to trust you because they don't know you. It's completely online, right? Also, they're busy. A lot of people are sending their messages this way, that way. They are getting approached by so many people, right? So, and th by helping you, they don't, they are not getting anything, right? So what works on LinkedIn is personal branding. Now, LinkedIn is, probably one of the only platforms where you'll see LinkedIn promotes your personal account more. If you create a page and then try to build it, companies find it difficult organically. But if you, if as a person, you can grow, uh, you know, terrific, you know, there is terrific growth on LinkedIn. So why personal branding works is because people already know about who you are and they trust you. They can see your content online without talking to you. Right. So I'll tell you a small story. A couple of years back, I went for an interview and uh, this company was an IT MNC based out of Hyderabad. So uh, it was a role in the marketing department. So that time I had around 12, 15,000 followers on LinkedIn. So I showed them my, uh, uh, that I was creating content. I was building my personal brand. That time I had just started my website. There were a couple of articles. So I showed them that. And the only question they asked me was, when can you join? So uh, there was nothing else, you know, there were so many rounds, everything was skipped. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is your personal brand will help you achieve whatever you are, whatever you want to do. Okay. It is not necessary that you have to monetize it or you want, you have to, you know, uh, build a following and, uh, uh, monetize it. So even if you want to look for a job, your personal brand will help you do that also. Okay. So, so the reason this works is give me one second so the reason this works is uh, i am sorry so sorry i have to <laughs> yeah sorry my dog was disturbing so uh, the reason this work, uh, the reason uh, this works is because, you know, people already without talking to you, they can learn so much about you. So you write stories, you know, you write, uh, who you are, the struggles that you have gone through the achievements and all of that through your profile, through your post. So before even talking to you, they can go through all of that and understand more about you. Right. So even when people go to Amazon to buy something worth 100 rupees also, you go to reviews and check specifically the negative reviews. So what people didn't like about, about this product, right? So what I'm saying is, you know, the decision making today happens much before 
you know talking so how much can you talk and convince so right now for 30 40 minutes i will share with you all this knowledge and how much can i talk and tell you but if you visit my linkedin profile and go through you will know so much about that has happened and i have shared in the last one two years right so that will help you uh, you know understand more about me and make a decision right so uh, what i propose you know to work on see job portals like nokri and uh, applying jobs on linkedin is that is everybody is doing and you can totally do it you should do it if you find opportunities great what else can you do because this is competition and you uh, you have to find more opportunities right so what i say is you build your personal brand your personal brand let's say in this is your magnet this magnet that you see and this is you and you are attracting opportunities so you create something that people approach you instead of you chasing them even when you approach people it becomes easier right so this is one very simple process that you know i have developed and i uh, share it with people that uh, first stage is you should optimize your linkedin profile your cover photo your uh, profile photo the headline uh, summary uh, recommendations previous job roles all of that you should you know put it in a very very impressive way the content the kind of keywords that you use right it should showcase very very properly if somebody comes to your profile they should be clearly understand they should be able to understand what you do right all of that so that's that's marketing in simple words next you know sorry you should be you should able to you should uh, find out more people from your industry and connect with them so if you are uh, let's say a data scientist or somebody into biotechnology so you should connect uh, with people in the similar industry send them connection request send them a message right uh, if somebody who has more number of uh, if somebody you are you have less you have let's say you have 500 connections and you can connect with someone who has 10000 followers or connections right in the same industry so that gives a huge push right so then you know engage with the community so once these two steps are done let's say you are sending requests daily 10 15 people you are sending messages daily and uh, sending them connection requests right and when we are sending them connection we send a very small brief message with that right and then engage with the community so once you are doing these things you know you'll see your linkedin feed uh, you should start uh, you know commenting on others people other people's posts so find out 10 15 good people who are writing daily on linkedin and they're related to your industry right or things that you want to get into and you comment on their posts you like their posts you share their posts so they start noticing you people start noticing you this is engagement so you, you should also do this make it a part of your daily routine last and the final point is start creating content that is helpful to people in your community so whichever industry you are you should uh, you know create content in a way that people start uh, thinking about you have, have a perception that you are a thought leader and you know some things whatever you know you're sharing it from your experience your content is genuine authentic and people are able to trust you right and it is not that you have to do all of it even just by optimizing a profile and by sending connection requests to people if you grow your network i am very confident you will start uh, you know you will start seeing the results more people will visit your profile somebody might approach you for work you never know right so when you are searching for a job you start applying for interviews this that and what happens is the first interview that you gave you can crack that that also can convert into an opportunity or it can happen six months down the line you never know right so how to create a linkedin profile to draw attention of recruiters because uh, how much can you approach to recruiters there is a limit you'll be manually sending finding out people sending them requests what you want is recruiters finding you visiting your profile finding it interesting and then sending you a message that uh, if uh, you know would you like to work with us right so uh, and these are very very subtle things that you that will take some time to build to create and uh, you know uh, you can you know start working on it so and you'll see the results after some time 
So if you see the LinkedIn profile, I'll take you through my profile once before we uh, go to this PPT. So if you see my profile, this, this section is called the cover photo. Right. So I, I conduct a workshop uh, every alternate month where this is a 21 days workshop right now and workshop is going on. It's a final stage, almost 300 plus people are there. Okay. Uh, then, you know, in the cover photo, what you see is I have mentioned very, very clearly what I'm doing. Okay. And my photo is there. So people cannot just download and use it. Right. I very, in very crisp way, all the highlight is there. Right. Then you see my photo is very clear. And uh, it's a headshot, professional headshot. So uh, one color shirt, t-shirt, whatever it is, uh, plain white background or less distracting background. You see this headline? So this headline, you have to write it in a certain way that uh, when your recruiters or somebody is trying to find people like you, you should rank up in the profile, rank up in the search results. So people start typing these kind of things and a list will come up. Okay, you can explore that. So I have tried to uh, mention all of that things here. Okay. So this is uh, analytics dashboard that you'll get for free. These are, you know, uh, in the last 30 or I think 60 days, these many people have searched and uh, were able to find me. Okay. These are the kind number of people, 16,000 people who visited my profile in the last 30, 60 days. Okay. Now, if you see, this is the featured section. This is where you can showcase whatever you are doing or you have done in the products that you have. If any, a lot of people upload their resumes here so that you can do. Okay. So I have an ebook that is selling on my website. I have a workshop that I conduct. So all these two I have put up. I keep on changing these things. Right. Then you'll see uh, this. This is the most important part. This is called the summary. Okay. So this is a uh, you know, short story about my life, what I told you. And uh, see, now also, if you read this, you will learn new things because I cannot remember always everything and I share with you, right? So that is why if you write down things, the important things, people can come read and know about you, okay? So uh, this, you know, you have to write a very good summary. See, all everything else is uh, there on your profile, the roles you have done, the certifications and all. But who are you as an individual? So people want to know about you as a human being, uh, some emotional side, also some struggle that you have been through and your professional journey. So you cannot talk about very personal things here that would not look appropriate. You have to think of things that are appropriate in this platform. Okay. That you can say uh, in an interview also. Right. So this is, let's say when somebody tells you, tell me about yourself. So this is that part. You should be able to narrate your story. Okay. So we'll uh, go back to the PPT here. Yeah. So I was showing you cover photo, profile picture, headline summary, feature section. All of this together is your LinkedIn profile. Okay. Let's go one by one. So you see cover photo. Oh, you know, there are a lot of ways people can create cover photo. And there's this free tool called Canva. This is the size. Uh, you'll find free templates there. Uh, you just need to add some text and add some photo maybe and you can create. Okay. So the first cover photo that you create may not be that great. It's totally fine. You can improve with time. Okay. So what I recommend is, uh, let's say you write what you do in five to seven words. Okay. And you highlight your specialities. Okay. If, if you have services, you can do that also. Stick to one, two colors max. Okay and give your name, logo, email ID, website, whatever, to make it more personalized. You can showcase your achievements, add a photo if possible. Okay. Now this is not necessary for everyone. What you can do is you can just write your name, add your photo, and uh, you can make it, uh, you know, uh, something different. Let's say, so one of the, uh, one of my students, uh, you know, in this batch that I'm training right now, uh, so she has done it this way. Uh, if you see her uh, cover photo, I'll just take you through. You'll understand how, you know, even if it is very simple, if you make that effort, it looks good. 
see this is just the name and the company she works for and what she is doing and the uh, you know email id so that's it the photo so it looks you know uh, an effort has been made and uh, comparatively if that cover photo is not there this is more appealing right when somebody is trying to approach her or find uh, similar people so it's just one time effort it will take hardly uh, you know maximum if you're totally new to canva it will take maximum one hour but the impact it can have is huge so let's look at some examples now you need to do research and find out how other people are doing it okay some people you know it's very very impressive a lot of things are there so it is not necessary that you also have to do it you can do it in very simple ways also see these kind of covers are also fine where you just write something and uh, add your website or email id whatever so next is profile picture as i was telling you you know these are called corporate headshots so you should uh, i don't know this will be an extra additional cost but if it is possible you should do a, a photo shoot and uh, get some photos done which you can use on your resume on your uh, linkedin profile if you have a website you can put it up on your website right so these kind of photos you know uh, very you know confident look should be there and close up picture of your face uh, formal dress is not necessary that you have to always be in a very formal look but one color clothes clean background okay and while, uh, what i suggest you know that smile is not enough you have to show your teeth okay you see these two pictures there's a huge amount of difference even though this photo is, is good but here you know just because of the smile and uh, the laugh there is a confidence that is reflecting okay again you see this is the same pattern that i was saying that you have to show your teeth okay so what should you write on your linkedin uh, profile headline so you see the headline part is where you use keywords so a lot of people are searching like scientist or data analyst or you have to understand what other people are searching those terms you have to use so if you see my audience is searching for terms like marketing consultant trainer linkedin coach this is what uh, people are searching for and i want to rank up for that okay so if you if you see here what people will do you know they will search like this to find out other people okay and you'll get a list of profiles here right and then people send a connection request or they uh, you know they go to their profile see what they are doing so if somebody is searching my goal see these people are ranking up because that term is here in their headline this is the headline okay so that is very important so you have to understand what people are searching for and use those uh, keywords in your uh, headline okay so there are a lot of ways people write headlines uh, you are free to choose okay but make sure you know it is uh, communicating with the, your audience in a very appropriate way so if you see my headline this is the headline that i have i haven't changed it for a very long time people write in very different ways free floater marketing enthusiast helping sales performs master content marketing okay see data analyst data visualization so whatever your specialties are you can write there now as i was telling you summary is the most important part where you get a chance to convince people you know uh, so this is like your as i was telling you when you go to an interview they ask uh, you know tell me something about yourself right so what you should do here is tell a good story now what people usually do is they write things like experienced professional demonstrated history of this that blah 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 which is like nobody wants to read that that is a template thing somebody has created and, and, and people write right so if you tell a good story about your life about your childhood how you uh, became the person you are why you made certain choices decisions about career in your life then you know uh, people will remember it they will find it interesting okay so this summary if you if you read through it you'll understand that i i started with my childhood and i was and i'm building that story with every line i'm saying them 
why I made certain decisions at certain point in my life, right? And how I have grown over the times. Okay. Now it is uh, here also you will see a pattern. Okay. You see this person. This person is an entrepreneur investor. So he, he starts by saying that I have been an entrepreneur for as long as I can remember. This is the first sentence and this is a full stop. What happens is when people visit your profile, they can't read the whole summary. They'll, they'll be able to see the first line and there will be see more. So they have to click on see more, then the whole thing opens up. So this has to be very, very catchy and interesting. So here probably they will be able to see the first two paragraphs. So in the second paragraph, you see it goes back to 1989 and talks about uh, how the family and he escaped a war from Iran and in a refugee camp in Germany, right? So uh, now, you know, this you cannot tell anywhere other in the LinkedIn profile other than the summary. That is why this is very, very important that you tell more about yourself about in a very story format. Now you might say we are, we are a college student. How can we don't have any big achievements? How can we write such things? Now you see, it is not that, uh, it is not about big achievements. It is about storytelling. So everybody has a story. Only thing is you should know how to present it. Okay. So you see this, uh, Noor was one of my interns. He worked with me for, I think two months. So, uh, I gave him the assignment of write a good story about yourself and gave him some guidelines. And this is how he constructed. Now see how it is uh, building up. I'm a self-motivated person who is curious to learn, implement and grow. Curiosity is what makes me feel alive. Back in 2015, after passing my 10th with 80%, my parental and peer made me look, made me took up science stream. Cut to 2017, I fail in my 12th pre-boards. Pre and with single digits in co science subjects. Advised by my teacher to drop a year, I will surely fail. So you see, now I want to know what happened next. Okay. So it's a, you know, very good, uh, you know, flow of up and down failure and success. So that is what, uh, you know, uh, people like to read. Right. And then he has uh, built it up like saying how, you know, uh, the other things that he have done is in his career. Now, see this person, he's a 19 year old VBA graduate, undergraduate. This is how the story is written. My love for marketing started when I was a kid. Again, so you see this pattern, the way. Be, so you read 10, 15 good summaries like this. You'll understand what people are writing. Then you make in bullet points what you want to write. What is your story? And you build it. So it will take some time but you can uh, write something interesting, right? So this is how, you know, you should uh, approach this if you have to write a LinkedIn summary. First step is research. Find out 10 to 15 good people who have written such summaries, okay? Then you create a rough sketch. You make bullet points of what you want to talk about. Introductions, that should be very, very catchy in two to three lines. Chronology of events, you know, uh, year-wise, date-wise, Achievements, if, if you have achievements, uniqueness, and at the end, call to action, email ID, website, whatever. Now, recommendations are something that helps you build authenticity. Okay. So, so far, what you have created in your LinkedIn profile is you are telling, but recommendations is somebody else is talking about you. Okay. So, if you visit my profile, you'll see the recommendations at the bottom. Okay. So these are the recommendations that I've received. Okay. Now what you can do is you can read each of them one by one. So I have total 39 recommendations that I've received. Okay. So uh, these are all of my other my clients or I have trained them on certain things. Right. So uh, now they writing something for something like this for me is going to help me in a huge way. Why? Because when I'm looking for new projects, I'm uh, approaching people, people are finding me. Uh, all of this at the top is good and interesting, but what will convince them finally is reviews. Because as I was telling you in the beginning, when you go to Amazon, Flipkart, or any website, any restaurant, you go to reviews and you read them, right? And you try to understand what is going on. Now the question is, why should anybody give you a recommendation? So people don't gain anything. So if you see this message, this is a very well crafted and written. Okay. But this person is not gaining anything by writing this. So either you have to give them a very good service and ask them to write a recommendation or you recommend them first. So these are the people that I have recommended them. I have given them a recommendation. So what you can do is 
you write a good recommendation and send it to them and after you know some days you send them a message that hey if you recommend me back it would be great right so in that way so this is again optimizing a profile okay so add keywords add all of these things i have told you so this is how you know uh, you should find relevant people what you should do is you should use uh, the terms uh, you, the people that you want to connect with their job profile uh, you know designations and go to all filters and select the company location and find out people in different cities in different roles and you send them a connection request every time you send them a connection request send a template message right now how to grow your network okay so it's the same process you know update your profile get recommendation send connection request get active create content that process that i told you in the beginning now why should you grow your network this is very important the reason you should grow your network is uh, you know so those reasons you already know that when you publish a book you should already have certain followers so when you are trying to change or you want to find a job you should already have 5 10 thousand connections right so that you if you want to approach someone you are already connected the other important things are you get to know about what is happening in the industry a lot of small little opportunities come out you won't find them on nokri and newspaper anywhere okay so small companies somewhere what they will do is they will write a post on linkedin that they are hiring looking for this kind of people if you have 10000 people in your industry in your network what somebody or the other is commenting there when somebody comments there you you also get to know about that so this way a lot of things can happen so let's say you have 5000 or 1000 connections relevant people and five of them in those connections have more than 50000 one lakh people so let's say you are connected with me or you are following me and you have uh, we, you know you have spoken to me one or two times you know me i have 50000 people uh, following me con uh, connections on my linkedin okay so when when you write something you know and post it and if i comment so my whole network is also knowing about that that same way if you have five people like me who uh, you know whom whose network you, you can leverage so you are getting exposed to 5 lakh people not just 500 people getting so that is ripple effect now how to start creating content on linkedin this is a little bit advanced but people who are interested in writing and they want to build a brand so you can totally do it okay so what i suggest is you start writing with good comments because a lot of people are very scared you know and it's a professional platform what people will think all these kind of thoughts are there so you start writing with comments nobody is uh, paying so much attention there but you can start practicing some people will notice they will go back to your profiles things will start getting interesting right also when you write a comment you know you're adding value to the community people start noticing you that person is noticing you so you're building your relationships also so what you should do is make a list of uh, people who are writing daily on linkedin okay and you start commenting on their posts daily high value good quality comment 10 15 okay depending on how much time you can manage right so then what you should do is you should uh, you know go to your profiles who are creating content daily and make a list of the topics they are writing about okay and then try to understand what kind of if, if you go to my profile okay you will see if you if you scroll through my posts okay let's say you go to my profile so this is visible to everyone you, you can also access this so if you go to posts okay so what you'll see here is all the posts that i have written on linkedin you can scroll through so now what you have to do is you go to the here and you see the number of likes and comments that are there on this post so here you see this is today's post 96 likes 21 comments okay this is yesterday's 331 likes, 68 comments okay 241 141 353 okay 219 432 okay so suddenly you'll see one post which has like huge number of likes and comments see this has 2000 likes 210 comments so what happened here why so many people liked it 
So you read this kind of posts and try to reverse engineer. So you, you do this for 10, 15 profiles and make a list of topics that people are commenting for. You'll understand what people want to read, like to read, right? So that sense is, you know, you, you have to build it with experience. So uh, what should you write about on LinkedIn? So now a lot of people, you know, they get confused. They want to write on LinkedIn, but they don't know what should I write. So because the, so many people are writing on so many different topics and everybody is doing great. What I recommend, you know, as a beginner, you should start with stories, right? That is the very simplest thing. That is what you have hold upon. Stories from your life, from your personal professional, which you can share with people. Okay, interesting updates of the community, thought provoking questions, tips, tricks, emotional stories, blah, 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 all these things you can add gradually, but you should start with stories. Now you'll ask me what kind of stories can I write? Okay, let's say first post you can write is, hi everyone, uh, this is my first post on LinkedIn and I'm very nervous, full stop. That's the first line. Next paragraph you start. Okay, so I have been thinking to write on LinkedIn for quite some time, blah, blah, blah. You write some story and introduce yourself. You're studying in this college. You want to become this. You are doing this right now. These are the courses you have done. Great. And at then you can write, I would be glad uh, to connect with you. That's it. Same way you can write about the your fear, your weakness. Okay, so stories from your life, majorly failures. Okay. Uh, because it's it's very easy to build a story from failure. People can relate more. And, you know, there are so many other things that you can write about. Your favorite teacher, you know, your, about your first job, interview, or the worst phase of your life. So many, uh, you know, ways you can construct stories. So these are around 17 topics that, you know, I have listed. A movie that you are... Uh, watched recently a book that you've read you can review that right now this is uh, the next stage where you are approaching recruiters okay so uh, i i also don't recommend that you create everything and then you wait for recruiters to approach you you should also make a good effort to reach out to people okay now how do you construct that message Okay, because every time you're not going to write a new message, you write something and you're sending it to 50, 100 people, right? So that message is very important, that email that you write. So opening paragraph, you know, be very direct about what you want to say, okay? You do not beat around the bush, okay? So first line only say that I'm writing, I'm reaching out to you, exploring the possibility of finding an opportunity to work with you. That's it. And then you introduce yourself and then you give us a little bit story, talk about your achievements, end on a positive note, attach your, uh, you know, uh, resume and certificates that you have done. Now, how to find an internship or, you know, this kind of full-time opportunities. So here, what you should do is you should make a list of, uh, you know, 30, 40, 50 companies that you want to approach, find out people in managerial roles in those companies. Okay. And you send them a connection request with a good message. You start sending them messages, uh, start a discussion. Okay, send them a message that you're looking for an opportunity and it would be great if you get an opportunity time to work with them, either as an intern or this way, either now or anytime in future, that way, okay? It, you shouldn't send a message that, hey, I'm looking for a job, can you help? Okay, nobody is going to respond that way. And be patient, send follow-up messages where you think there is an opportunity, okay? And repeat that same process again and again. Okay. Now, uh, before reaching out to people, you know, as I told you, three things that you should do is you should update your resume, update your LinkedIn profile and start working on your brand. Okay. So that when uh, you find an opportunity, uh, you don't waste it. So if somebody finds you interesting, if the moment they visit your LinkedIn profile, they should be like, wow, I, I like this person. That should be the reaction. All right, so that's that's it from my side. Uh, we can take questions if you if you uh, like this PPT, if you like uh, the content that I shared, you can uh, give me a recommendation. Write about this on LinkedIn. I'm open to take questions. Thank you, sir. It was indeed a very informative session. 
we would now proceed towards answering the queries please post your questions in the chat box all your doubts will be answered accordingly so there are no questions is it recommendable to tell about switching fields for any vulner see when you are switching fields you should come out strong you shouldn't say that uh, because i was not getting opportunities there i am trying for new we should say that uh, you know uh, i find this more interesting okay and this is where my heart lies and i want to build here this kind of things not uh, why you don't like the other one okay see uh, the reason of sending a template message every time is that uh, they are getting recommend uh, request from so many people every day right so uh, and if you send them a message it increases the chances of you know they accepting it because you are uh, spending time you know uh, sending request so that is an investment that you are making now if if you send request to 15 people and they don't accept that is waste right so you wasted let's say 5 uh, minutes of your time so if 10 people at least accept that is good so that is why you should send them a message and that also uh, starts a relationship so how should you start building a profile as a sophomore you know so whatever you are doing you present it so you are a student you are passionate about these topics you know and uh, you know write a good quote in the cover photo if nothing hits your creativity okay so what would be your advice to young freshers who don't have much credit other than schools academic uh, you write a good story everybody's story is interesting you become good at storytelling write about your journey uh, the, write about this only that uh, you know you are trying to grow build uh, you know despite not coming from a very premium school or college whatever see learning how to showcase yourself is a skill that you have to learn over time okay so uh there is that is creativity also there is no such hard and fast rule that you have to do it this way you keep on trying and you keep on experimenting how to build a personal brand so such and you can go to my website growthrich.com you will find the link on linkedin profile also i have a very detailed article uh, describing how to build a link personal brand how should i present my skills like if i know just knowledge but no work experience so you know you should uh, start writing okay uh, write couple of articles and keep it in your uh, uh, post it as an article it will be there in your profile so that can also show that you know uh, you have good knowledge in this see uh don't write things very irrelevant okay so one of the questions says we are in colleges and want different exposure to field uh, which field to go in future so it is okay to post of things we know and approach people of different fields see first of all that is why i said your goal should be very clear that you want to become an let's say youtuber or you want to become an artist or you want to become a scientist whatever it is you should talk about those things only let's say you want to become a scientist and you are talking about uh, you know you are connecting with other guitarists or photographers that is not going to help you later right so you should connect with uh, other people who are already scientists or you know they are doing their phd's and uh, probably that can help you get some internship somewhere later so it should all be very very relevant so when 
uh, your network is small also if the people in your network are relevant okay then you can find help in a very small network also right it doesn't have to be 10000 people if you have 1000 connections also that is huge because imagine 1000 people sitting in one room and everybody is related to your industry that can fill up a whole auditorium right so hobbies you know i i i uh, don't recommend as such uh, that you talk about hobbies so uh, what kind of hobbies you know if it is helping you build your personal brand then it makes sense but uh, if you want to talk about painting about singing and you know so think of it this way that let's say recruiter or other people in your network how are they going to benefit by seeing you as a painter or seeing you as you know you play football that can be very small amount only adds to your personality okay so daily if you start talking about painting about football something that you love to do and doesn't have to be a professional then you know you know related to your career you know that can add be a content piece of content but not necessarily you know uh, uh, help you help them to uh, gain something right so i'll quickly show you uh, my website uh, once so that uh, there are a lot of uh, articles that you can uh, go through so this is my website okay so majorly focusing on training and consulting okay so the articles are here so huge in-depth articles not much but i have I'm, I'm building more articles so how to build a personal brand you can read this okay uh, there are two books uh, one of them is free uh, the other one i think the first chapter is free so you can download and you can read you, you, you'll find a lot of information related to marketing this book is free this one is paid you can read the first chapter for free so you can subscribe to my newsletters also i write monthly try to write monthly one or two good articles okay then uh, this is the workshop that i conduct right so the next is coming up on march so you can go through you can scroll uh, if you find something interesting hopefully it will help yeah i'll share the link so sachin is asking uh wait i'll take uh, questions from the top um, so as students you can write things you know like uh let's say you are into data science so you can write data science data science enthusiast that kind of thing if because you cannot say that you are a specialist right i love watching cricket should i put this on my linkedin profile absolutely not so i i told you that trick you start thinking from the point of view of uh, your audience will they gain anything by knowing that you are watching cricket no right but if you attend let's say you attended this workshop this uh, one hour seminar and you wrote about it and you write three points that i learned these things so people who are seeing that post they are also learning something right and you tag me so that would mean a lot to me i can like that post people who are reading it they are gaining something they learned about this so that is value so i'm confused what to do like i'm interested in finance marketing design uh, i'm just a beginner little company. so sachin you, should, you, you know you should speak to more people you should connect with some people in finance connect with some people in marketing read books watch youtube videos and speak to these people and try to understand what they are doing and whether uh, do you have the skills uh, right uh, to do that
and can you relate yourself to those people can you imagine yourself doing those jobs if you find it exciting interesting you can take up courses read more books and explore that field more and speak keep on talking to more people in that field and ask them these questions do you think i can you know uh so you can send a message that hey uh, i am trying to build a career in finance and uh, i am reading articles books i am really struggling hard to explore and learn more about this field as a beginner what are the th things what are the books that i should read what are the uh, you know courses that i should do can you give, recommend me can you help me if you send this message to 50 people i'm sure 5 to 10 people will respond so if you are into research field and you like reading books okay uh if you review unrelated books like uh, you know uh, let's say you are into uh, biotechnology okay and you review things related to that industry the books related to that industry that can help uh, other people who are connected with you but if you review uh, chetan bhagat's books fiction romantic books that is not helping someone anything right so that you can do in your personal blog but you know also the goal should be clear if you want to become if if you after some time if you don't want to continue your, your career in uh, as in scientist as in science and technology then it is totally fine okay but if you so that is why everything begins with your goal what you want to uh, do right so sachin you know what you should do is uh, you know you should uh, then next step is start taking up small little courses on workshops start uh, finalize one field okay and uh, build your knowledge more there so elon musk has uh, you know sent a rocket to the space uh, without uh, doing uh, without going to university getting a degree just by reading books so uh, there is uh, so much that you can do by reading stuff from the internet internet for free right you don't have to uh, go to university or uh, you know take up very expensive courses for that matter if someone wants to get into teaching profession how can linkedin help me in this case see ankita what you should do is you connect with uh, as many people as possible who are into teaching profession in your uh, industry okay uh, and uh, you will also be doing certifications courses uh, to get into that field once you build a resume build a linkedin profile now you feel that okay i can start approaching people start sending out messages to people so so by that time you are ready from now onwards if you start connecting with people let's say you'll have 5000 people after a year or two year right so by that time you know that time you can use that network if you send one very good message to you know 500 people somebody will respond right you'll get something out there so that can help can 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 i talk to someone like uh, uh, can anyone open up the mic and talk is this allowed because i feel like i am only talking and uh, you know i i'm not getting a chance to talk to anyone uh yes sir it is allowed anyone if you want to talk to sir <laughs> please so i have a question hi hi please go ahead hi. uh your so name is firstly, ahsas my name is ahsas yes sir so uh, firstly your session was just amazing i found your Uh, like advice to be like really useful and helpful for us. So thank you for that. Thank you. So actually, as students and especially I am a person who is like very interested in learning more things. Okay. So the, as one of the person said in the comments, so the more you learn and know about these things, you find it interesting. And I feel like the experiences I have had about like maybe you know the things that could have you know made it better, the experience better, or some of the things I should have done. i want to share it with people so is this fine is it fine if i write about these things on linkedin or should i maybe use some other platform to express express for example these? for example 
so for example i am from a completely bio background but i find very interesting uh, like i find programming or you know computer science to be very interesting and i'm in fact interested in bioinformatics as well right. as a field so and i feel uh, i could share right. some tips with people like me like who are maybe in a from a completely pure bio background but they are interested in going to you know switching fields or something so if i share my experience on linkedin about this would it be like approved yes 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 totally why not see there are more people like you who are in bio background uh, and they want to switch later okay so if you know like if you want to get into an it company they don't care whether you have a, a degree in it or mechanical or whatever everybody can get an it job if you know coding and if you can crack the aptitude test right so uh, you can totally build your profile you know just write in the headline that programming enthusiast and you keep on sharing knowledge related to programming so there is this uh, youtuber and linkedin influencer called akshay saini So he has around uh, built around three lakh followers. He is a software engineer, programmer, and he shares content and tips related to JavaScript and all of that, right? So uh, gradually, you'll see when you start creating content in that field, more people will uh, connect with you. You will get fifty hundred connection requests in a day. People will start sending you connection requests because you are creating high value content. So people want to connect with you. okay sir thank you so if your goal is clear that uh, in future i want to switch to this industry to this career it's totally fine that you from now only you start connecting with other similar people in that industry you say sir that i might you know in future not take up that field but uh, right now i'm interested in this is it then also fine if i like right fine fine sir? totally fine right you shouldn't wait for you know like Uh, you never know what the how how long that will take to that for that clarity because uh, you know uh, you know people change their career at 40s also right you know arvind kejriwal he started politics at the age of 40 right so does that mean that you should wait <laughs> not at all whatever you are interested right now you think that you want to do it at least for some time you have clarity go for it all right anybody else hello hi hi sachin please go ahead awesome sir actually i am also from jharkhand and i'm from devgar actually oh awesome awesome where are you right now i am sir presently in devgar okay great oh, sir actually what i'm saying is that uh, i am reading books and also like uh, taking courses also but uh, okay. as as far as i'm doing that i am like uh, going more interested in that like uh, i love finance also marketing also design also but i what i thought is uh, what i'm going to be is like jack of all and trade of none mm -hmm. like that and uh, as per the present scenario expertise is in more demand and that's why i thought like right. choosing like choosing a single field rather than going in various multiple streams yeah yeah <laughs> so and what sir, is your is... current stream right now in college sir i mean cs sir computer science honors okay. okay and uh, like uh, after my 10th i went to bokaro and where i found more friends from dhanwad and rachi region and uh -huh. they get me more interested in finance and that's okay. why i entered into that and i learned uh -huh. some basics and that's after that and when i and why i uh, like uh, in during the lockdown uh, uh -huh. i just read about the magazines books and uh, some personal finance and management and that type of book means must uh -huh. sir हर एक फील्ड में हाथ मार दिया <laughs> उस वजह से बहुत कंफ्यूज हो गया मतलब आई गॉट सम रियली रियली लाइक ऑसम नॉलेज अबाउट द वेरियस फील्ड एंड मल्टीपल फील्ड्स बट व्हाट इज द प्रेजेंट सिनेरियो दैट आई एम कंफ्यूज दैट व्हिच फील्ड शुड आई अडॉप्ट और लाइक व्हिच फील्ड शुड आई कैरी फॉरवर्ड सी डोंट हरी इनटू सेटलिंग डाउन दैट दिस इज व्हाट यू नो आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन एंड आई वांट टू डू इट्स टोटली फाइन दैट यू नो इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू डिसाइड give it some more time uh, see uh, at least you are better from somebody who is not exploring at least you are exploring right so uh, keep on doing okay uh, what i'm getting a sense that you are consuming knowledge okay consuming knowledge understanding is fine start creating uh, then you'll get some more clarity that okay maybe i'm i like to read but i'm not 
interested in doing things okay let's say uh, you are interested in finance okay i don't know what areas of finance you're talking about let's say you start so uh, like stock market crypto finance. so you start investing and okay web3 development in in small amount you start But creating I'm doing that. okay then you start creating content on instagram you share a knowledge on linkedin all these platforms you start creating content do it for you know one two months then see what happens whether you are enjoying that whole process or not right then you'll see more people uh, start will start connecting with you and they will uh, uh, they would like to learn from you or speak to you right so observe yourself in this process give yourself two months that let for the next two months let's just stick to finance okay you st- you are doing investing right you're reading articles you start sharing that knowledge on social media on instagram you can make posts right on canva you can use for free on linkedin you can start writing on twitter you can start posting so whatever knowledge you have you start sharing that knowledge right and then uh, you connect with people people will connect with you and then you'll gradually you'll realize okay so uh, you won't uh, believe that after college for a long time i wanted to be an uh, equity analyst okay so i was preparing for cfa exams and all i did that for one two years uh, you know I, i couldn't clear that exam that was a disaster i spent so much money and i lost that exam, <laughs> exam and all. for a, after you know that that failure i realized that i am not that analytical uh, you know by by default so my natural instinct is uh, creative things so but my father is an engineer my all my friends i had i were an anal- had analytical minds and I, i i also thought that maybe i am also an analytical person but i was not you know i used to think that so you see the kind of time it takes to realize what you are who you are is a journey it will not happen in one day okay and it's okay to explore fail and then understand so don't don't expect perfection from day one yes sir that's what i am thinking about but uh, i haven't explored the social media yet like uh, i am using everything but i haven't created an insta id yet <laughs> <laughs> no no do it do it you'll see uh, more uh, action there okay so now you are investing your reading you are alone and uh, when you start create an insta page or write on linkedin write on twitter what you will see that there are more people like you and you can connect and you can talk so you can ex- under- understand more right yes sir sir so should we uh, like uh, what are the uh, different uh, areas whatever is in mind like uh, should we, should i uh, divide the time accordingly or should no, i just i w- i would say for two months stick to one thing okay then uh, you will have enough data okay now what i'm seeing is that you are not giving yourself enough time for one field yes sir that's why mm. i'm confused <laughs> so give yourself some time uh, relax and uh, spend uh, some time on finance 2 3 months and then see what happens yes sir thank you sir for your advice all right, all right. anybody else linkedin monetization akanksha so see uh, there are two three ways you can monetize on linkedin one is so everything uh, will depend upon the audience the network that you have built so uh, the easiest way is you know you you uh, when you grow your network you can connect with more people find out more opportunities so you can get more jobs okay start getting freelance clients and projects okay if you write uh, you are a freelance writer or freelance graphic designer web designer on your headline and you grow your network you'll see people will start approaching you okay and you present yourself properly on the linkedin profile then uh, once you start sharing knowledge on a daily basis and uh, you have an audience of 10000 15000 you can uh, you know sell an ebook the way i am doing you can uh, conduct a small workshop of two days train people right so you can do brand deals and so a lot of companies they approach me uh, saying uh, write a post for us and we'll pay you this much amount so that way also it can happen so one of my students uh, 
his name is shivanshu you can go through his instagram page i am shivanshu i some of you might be knowing him also so he i he was there in one of my batches 3 to 4 months back and uh, that time he was very confused just like sachin uh, you know exploring he uh, had one experience of one year after college left that and he started learning marketing he was not very clear what he wa- wanted to do so then he took up my course and uh, we spoke for a couple of times and he was good at making videos reels so i i suggested him that you know you explore this more you don't know what will happen tomorrow so in the last 3 to 4 months you won't believe with less than 100 videos he has uh, grown from less than 1000 followers to today he has 7 lakh followers and he is getting brand deals worth more than 1 2 lakhs per month he is staying at home just making videos and earning that much amount even more so once you build an audience the w- number of ways you can monetize uh you you can't even predict so yesterday i spoke to someone uh this guy has built 83000 followers just by writing memes uh, and it has taken 2 3 years for him so he has done film promotions uh so he has done promotions for the movie pushpa uh, and uh, you know more than 150 movies film promotions he has done so you build an audience Uh, right you and then see how monetization happens you will be surprised all right any 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 questions we can take up one or two more questions anybody would like to talk i would like to listen sir i have a question yeah yeah sachin sir how you decided to get into this field sir like after experiencing hmm. various why See, you uh, this? nothing nothing uh, like that happened overnight it was this has happened very very gradually okay so uh, i was uh, doing my job parallelly i picked up freelance clients okay i was working for them then i uh, you know started doing workshops that also failed initially two three times but the common thing in all of this was i was trying to do things okay if you just keep on reading and doing things alone na uh, it will not uh, you will not get more clarity you need to come out and uh, connect with more people and start creating yes sir it will like uh, after giving some time yeah yeah clarity will come absolutely okay anybody else i have spoken to sachin a lot any anybody else okay wh- which part of india are you from where are you right now can you put on chat that much like people have joined this call and they left or what i think 53 people are there online but there nobody is talking <laughs> bihar delhi uh delhi noida ap delhi uh, haryana and devgad up gaziabad jharkhand haryana awesome all right all right then so if if you know there are uh, you can reach out to me uh, on linkedin on instagram you can send me a message uh, if you if you want to connect uh, we'll see how we can help you i i try to help a lot of youngsters uh you know i on a daily basis i'm speaking to 50 100 people in my batches so i i understand the kind of problems people are going through at this stage so i am trying my best with the content that i create on instagram linkedin to help as many people as possible with my ebooks and workshops i also do one to one consultations all right guys so thank you so much for inviting me uh so thank you sir for means a lot yeah Thank you, thank sir, you for sir. answering our questions. It was really helpful. All right, thank you so much. The Institutions Innovation Council extend sincere gratitude to Mr. Sarojit Mahato for delivering this session today. Thank you for taking out the time from your busy schedule and joining us. We are grateful for the learning experience that you provided. We extend our deepest thanks to our principal, Ma'am Dr. Payal Mago. for being our pillar of support and strength 
we would like to extend our heartiest thanks to all the teachers for their constant support and motivation last but not the least we would like to extend our heartfelt thanks to the audience for showing your keen interest in this webinar we hope it provides you with the great learning outcome thank you sir thank you everyone take care bye bye thank you sir thank you thank you everyone